please. So, Cameron, what did your art teacher say about your art project? She said it's great. She did? See, I told you we have a budding artist on our hands. There we go. Are you stuck? Maybe it's Daddy. Right. Look. Look. Hello there. Camden, isn't it? Come here. Ooh. Come with Mommy, please. What are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> such a wary look when I am here to say thank you. Okay, if you don't want a sauna, now would be the time to speak up because Maxie spent at least a half hour in here taking yeah, measurements. Yeah, well, why don't I just let Maxie have this place? Are you okay? Yeah, I just, uh, just bumped into Elizabeth at Kelly's, and she's in a bad way, and I tried to comfort her. She was upset. She was fighting me, and I put my arms around her, and that's, of course, when Lucky walks in. Oh, no, and he went ballistic. No. But the way he talked to Elizabeth was so cold. I don't know, it was just really strange for me to see because I've known Lucky since he was a kid. And today was the first time that I actually saw the toll all the lies have taken and the betrayal. I had a part in that, you know. How do you mean? Well, I lied for months. I let Lucky believe he was Jake's biological father. Then when he found out, he was devastated. Yeah, he bounced back, but you know what? At some point, the spring just snaps and you can't bounce back anymore. And you get stuck where you are and you get angry and you start to change. And, and I'm afraid that's what's happening to Lucky right now. You're right. Dad's looking at spending the rest of his life in prison. It's so unfair. Dad didn't even kill Claudia. He's just protecting Michael. But that won't matter because Michael won't be a factor. And who's going to bring him up and say that he did it? Certainly not Uncle Sonny. And even if he did, it could backfire. How? Well, a jury could believe your father killed Claudia and go even harder on him for trying to blame his son. On the other hand, the evidence against Uncle Sonny is pretty much circumstantial. Dan can probably spin a lot of it away. Well, enough to raise reasonable doubt anyway. Remember, all it takes is one juror. What are you guys up to? Nothing. Uh, Molly's helping me, me with my homework. Really? Since doing homework is such a guilty thing to do. What's really up? We're talking about what's going to happen to Dad if he's found guilty of killing Claudia. Life in prison hardly seems fair, does it? Considering I'm the one who murdered Claudia. But you didn't mean to. You were just protecting Mom and Josh. Yeah, but at some point, that's not good enough. What matters is Dad didn't kill Claudia. He shouldn't have to spend the rest of his life in prison for something that I did. I was about 16, 17 when Deke hit me for the last time. And I don't know what it was about that particular fist to the face, but I gotta tell you, my head exploded. I saw red. I went after Deke like a bat out of hell. I'd have killed him if my mother didn't stop me. So she told me to leave and never come back. Your mother's sided with your abuser over you? Well, you have to understand back then, you know, that there were no resources for help. You, you drew a card, you lived it, and you pretended. Plus, Deke was a cop. And that was dangerous on a whole other level. My mother was trapped. You never blamed her? Not for one single minute. Anyway, Joe, Joe Scully offered me a job. I started working for him. I, I needed to get set up. You know, I, I didn't expect it to be a, a life choice or, you know, I just wanted to get into a better position in the world. You know, something must have happened to change that. I was away from home about a year and Deke beat my mother so bad that he put her in a hospital. 
So I, I told Joe what happened. Joe said, be out in the public the next night. Where did they find Deke's body? In an alley, shot execution style. That was my point of no return. I was going to be loyal to Joe for the rest of his life. So that's uh, my path. I just wanted you to know how I got here. It's, uh, it's a pretty terrible story, Sonny. It's pretty painful to hear. I can't even imagine living through it or even remembering it. I feel sorry for the boy you were. The prisons are full of uh, low lives with crappy backstories, so that uh, doesn't excuse anything.